We got the media team in there. Where the media Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. Wack. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home and your clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. Yo, check it out. We got Wack 100 and DJ Academics discussing big new BMF and being a third party cooperant. So, Let's get straight to the content. Listen to what Wack and Academics talking about. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Run the content. Spin the block. Is that a thing though? Could you like? But is that snitching though? Because yo, I, by the way, and and Hell I listen. Yeah, that's snitching. Niggas third party. That's how them niggas in the fans is getting out. Watch this, right? Look, look. I'm already in there, right? At mm -hmm. you come in. Yeah. I'm in there with fifty years. You come in. I befriend you, get to know you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I still got a few teams out there doing their thing. You see, I'm doing all right for myself in there. Uh -huh. You're like, yeah, man, I got a thousand bricks. I got very such and such. I, you know, shit, I ain't got, I don't trust none of my people, but shit, you know, we could work something. All right, well, let me get you 10 bricks up front, and then you move in. We keep moving them, right? Boom. I call R&B. R&B, listen. Nigga got a thousand bricks, right? Contact them folks, let them know they had a way and agree to move them for him. This is what it's going to be, boom, boom, boom. Ask them, you know, if I move the majority of the bricks, how much time they'll knock off of my head. All right, baby, they stand for every hundred bricks you move, they're going to take seven years, eight years, ten years off, whatever. She's my third party cooperate. Okay. No, no, okay. No, I, I understand that. Hey, hey, you know hey, what I'm saying? And hey, let me ask you. Let me ask you this question, because so so he so he was given thirty years because, because I think this is a counter <laughs> argument. He was given thirty years, right? Yeah. So if if he got locked up in 2005, 30 years would have been him getting out in 2035, right? 85 percent. Okay, and and 85 percent of that would have been maybe 25 and a half. Okay, exactly. So, so, so he would have got out in twenty thirty. Twenty four at twenty four at best. Okay, so, so, so let's say half, right? six months off of the halfway house, a year he didn't took the little drug program for twenty four years. He got out in nineteen years. He out five years or six years or five years uh, early. Actually. And I and I guess that's what the counter argument is, though. Uh, I'm whack. Why would somebody cooperate? For only five years off. The whole point of cooperating is to be like. Blue Da Vinci did a safety valve for eight months off. What you mean? What's a safety valve? <clears throat> yeah, that's a whole nother story. But listen, anybody that says, why would somebody cooperate for only five years off is a that ain't never did no prison time. Oh. After 19, 20 years, that five years is an eternity. Nigga, when you 56 years old, that's the difference between 56 and 62. Is it still only five years off? Now, he his third-party cooperation didn't bring him home early. He's not home early on no telling. I got the paperwork on why he's home early. Why is he, why is he home early then? Oh, let me go pull the work out. He ain't, he's not home early for no telling. <laughs> yo, so, yo, when, Wax no, says, when Wax says, let me go pull the work up, <laughs> he got me. Oh. Yo, I, I saw you sit there with uh, uh, Pooh Shisey's lawyer. And, um, <laughs> that was good content. No, no. Hey, I, I said, I said before you got on the phone, I said, people like, this is why you need it. I, I know you, I don't think you look at yourself like a media personality because you're just being you. But like when it comes to somebody who's well versed in the street and who's from the streets, there's no one even close to you. Like it's not even like and, and by the way, here's the thing. 80 percent. I won't say 80. Let's say 70 percent. You got to you got to work on why he's all murdered. Yeah. I ain't gonna put no bullshit on him, but I, I just sent you to work on why he's home early. Uh, now his third party cooperation was trying to get him home early back in sixteen seventeen. So okay, we're in twenty four. So that means I had to put him home early seven eight years early than now. 
So while he's home early now, you have the paperwork on. That's legit. Mm. You're so, looking at it. So, wait, so would you consider him a cooperate then? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, 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 you know, he did the, All he got to do is go to Cam Capone, interview with uh, Blue Da Vinci. And no, I see. called in from the feds. Oh, I played it. I played it. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. And here goes the thing: ain't nobody gonna do nothing to him and do nothing about it. And I don't think hey, all these BMF dudes is out here waiting to think he's gonna go get a million bricks. That man, fifty-six years old, he didn't have to do a thing or two to come home early, right? He he got his son in position. But see, like, I'm gonna tell freedom you what's fight. wrong with that. I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with that. <clears throat> see, if I said. I sound like a hater. <clears throat> but now, LeBron, you know, respectfully, what you've just done is all the kids that have been watching you and 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 looking at you and looking at your son because of the sports and, and, and watching you do these things with the school programs and, and investing in schools and all these things. Now they just saw you welcome home a guy that they don't know. And now the kids are Googling. And now they just seen LeBron James glorify and salute a drug dealer. Now I know it sounds crazy coming out of my mouth, but we having grown man conversation, right? Wait, 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 hold on. All right, all right, so let me ask you this, right? Because that's what I was also telling my chat earlier. I said... It's crazy. It don't even look right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you, though. Let me ask you, because you're older than me. You would definitely know way more than me. Is is he... It, by, by how many people are welcoming him back, it feels like he meant more to the black community than than only being a drug dealer. Like, I don't know if he's... he's I, I don't know what you... Act, act, look, I don't get what you mean more to, right? Uh, let's take... Uh, Frank Lucas and the rest of these drug kingpin dudes and he wasn't on their level but he was up there right Yeah. okay I don't give a f let's just be real and I gotta speak on this cause I saw my man Captain Tazariat who part of the Hebrew Israelites speak on it listen they passed out turkeys okay they brought some people some cars they took, took care of some people in the projects but everything was done right by what? By the genocidal act of flooding the streets with some shit that was cancerous to our people called a drug. Right? So you can say what you want to say, bro, about that. But when you come from being a drug kingpin and you say you looked out for people, you smoke people up than you looked out for. Mm. So when you got a guy like LeBron, of his magnitude and his stature, say, welcome home, Big Meech. The only defense I can give LeBron is hopefully he's referring to um, the reestablished, the, the, you know, <laughs> the Big Meech that, that let's say is, the, is the, going to turn into a movie star, a TV star, but... You know, when he does that, it makes the people that follow him and look up to him say, okay, well, who's this guy? And when they go read about him, they say, damn, LeBron's saluting him big up in the drug dealer. Is it cool to be a drug dealer? Shit, LeBron likes him. Hey, did right? You, no, you're right. Did you see what Rollo said? Rollo was sending a message to Big Niche. He said, the streets is dead, OG. Get this legal money. Stay out the, stay out the niggas way. Don't even worry about what niggas say. Most of these so-called street niggas ain't even made a million out of the dope game, but they always talking street shit. So it look like he's telling I mean, Well, you got to remember because they put Rollo over there with the rats too, right? Am I right? That's the dude they, they had the phone call and they allegedly say he told. I don't know too much about the dude, so, you know, but he's telling the dude the truth. Nobody cares. Right, um, the the people that's being exposed as rats are getting bigger after they expose as rats. Yeah, nobody cares. The stronghold of the streets are gone. You are gonna have a few renegades still out there, but right now it's probably about a good sixty five thirty five in favor of the cooperants. Mm. Even I'm in jail, three out of the five prison yards in jail in California are ran by cooperants. Wow. 
Hey, by the way, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think when he comes out, the the last thing I want to see him do is go on that inter that interview circuit. I think he needs to drop a movie, just like how we saw American Gangster. Like I I feel like the culture no. wants that. Yeah. He need to do that, then do the do the interview circuit to promote the movie. But like, no, bro, he I'm gonna got be honest two with plays you. In it. I've only Act. heard stories about like like I heard someone tell a story about how. He brought his two Maybachs to a club and boxed in um, um, Jay Z's Maybach. I'm like, wow, this guy really had it. I don't yeah, know. that was uh, that was um, Benny Bone told that story. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh no, he had it. The niggas was doing like 2,500 bricks a week and crazy shit. He had it. You know, he, he had it. I had the life right deal with my man Speedy. Um, Speedy's a uh, Persian. I believe he's Persian. There's no questioning or doubt in that. It's just about the things that happen after the fact. Um, you know, that's that's in question. Hey, why doesn't he get along with Blue Da Vinci? Uh, okay, so originally, right, um, they thought Blue Da Vinci told on the limousine stash spot. <clears throat> right? But when the paperwork came out, come to find out the limousine driver told on the stash spot. So when Blue Da Vinci paroled, that's where you see Blue uh, meets doing the intro on Blue Da Vinci's little mixtape, right? Oh. So then later on, it comes out that Blue Da Vinci got a safety valve and he cooperated for a time cut, which was only eight months. What? Yeah. Yeah, we exposed that on Clubhouse like about two weeks ago. Hey, hey, hey I'm, I'm asking you this seriously. I'm not even trying to be... Like, what I've heard about BMF, they, they, they've, you know, obviously some getting money niggas, but but I've heard they were a force to be wrecked from. Like, when when, you, when you're like kind of exposing this, because I'm imagining that whenever Big Meats comes back, he's going to have a power, not necessarily he has to do anything. But he's gonna have a power over street niggas and other street niggas. That no, 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 that, that, that. No, his power came from he had the sack. It's a bunch of people like him who had the sack. Free Ray, Free, Free Ray Rock, Rick Ross was like him. He had the sack. <clears throat> he did all that time and came home. He don't got the sack. He's doing other things to make regular money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That power come from that sack. You lose that sack, you lose that bag, you lose that power. Is the few things that may do some people might do some things for him? Yeah, but but no, nah, that ain't. He was see whoever feed the people lead the people. Where does um Jeezy stand with this? Is Jeezy gonna say nothing? Jeezy gonna stay so far. Jeezy gonna stay so stay so far away from them people like he been dead. Jeezy made his decision way back when and got away from him. That's why he never signed the paperwork to be signed to him. That nigga went behind Blue Da Vinci and them back and went straight direct to Def Jam. Because he comes from that. He comes from up under the Blue Da Vinci cloth and all that. And when it came time to do the business, he did it straight with Def Jam. And, 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 and let me ask you a question, because I think this is, you have this thing called the exposures, right? And, I, and I've been watching you guys, like, like you guys doing a pretty good job. But but you do know that now, like I don't, I think you guys have exposed a bunch of stuff. But like it's like people kind of like who they like. People don't really care that nobody's telling anymore. Oh yeah, we gotta remember, bro. The exposers ain't here to uh, piss you off. We just here to make you aware. And the usual referring to are those people that might need to be made aware. <clears throat> We're not here to tell you not to stream, not to follow, not to uh, subscribe or uh, support whoever this individual may be. We just here to make you aware of who they really are. That's it. Imagine you act being a dude in Jersey, right? And let's say you doing allegedly marijuana deal with a Tennessee, right? And you know people say this dude's legit and he's solid. You setting up a big thing for him. And then next thing you know, you see some shit on the internet. Whack 100 exposes, exposed little Jeff from Tennessee. Been a cooperative for eight years. And this is the dude you was about to do business with. Wouldn't you appreciate that act? No, I would. Of course, I was okay, so we're not here to kill nobody's career, <clears throat> to get anybody killed. We're not here to, 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 to 
make you stop following or whatever or whatever. We just here to expose <clears throat> and show everybody who certain people really are. Now we just reached out. We're getting a, a tons of emails now from the ladies in the federal penitentiaries that's being pulled on by a lot of so-called thorough street niggas. See, these women don't have no voice. People don't really know who they are. They forget about them. They drown them out. But now, right, we're getting a whole bunch of paperwork in from these ladies in the federal penitentiary, right, who been told on by a lot of names, a lot of people, people running around out here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here for the people that need a voice. And listen, we're here to make the streets a better place. Yeah. You know, if you're a rat, you shouldn't be in the streets. You should be joining corporate America, dropping diesel, working at McDonald's or something. We're going to stop you from thinking you can still go out here and do the street stuff. And we're going to help the other street guys understand that there's more people that's telling you not that you need to stop doing the things you're doing. You know, you can't look exposed in a negative way. And if you've been uh, uh, accused of something that you didn't do, we're here to we're here to show you know maybe you might be innocent. He didn't tell. Who's icy? Just reap the benefits of the exposures. Definition, but there there is ways these days that the government are trying to close cases that isn't snitching, right? And, and you know what I mean because again, yeah. you know, like I think you, you mentioned about the proffer thing. If, if the street sees every proffer as a snitch that's going to be a problem because these days you know they're resolving cases and they're going to kind of multiple defendants saying hey listen Pushai, yeah Pushai, she was the prime example brother you know what I'm saying look hey me and you right mm -hmm. me and you we and did some robberies they like look nigga we give you next 30 years or you take your 10 a day what's happening uh, your attorney like, yo, man, my client say he didn't want trial. He willing to take the 10 because they got you niggas on camera, whatever, whatever. Okay, tell Lack I'm willing to take it too. All right, listen, they're going to ride it up and act with the driver and use the gunman. You know what I'm saying? The act don't have to sign that. On yours, is going to say use the gunman, act with the driver. You have to sign that. Are you guys in agreement to get the 10? Yeah, you ain't involving nobody else, just show you two. No problem. I sign it, you sign it. And it says proper, right? Now you go to your prison, I go to my prison. You hit the yard and see your paperwork. Paperwork say proper and it says you sign a document that says whack was the gun ban. They gonna call you a rat because I'm not there to to, to say we agreed about it. Mm. So what I'm saying is, and I told the attorney, you guys need to go to the courts right and tell the courts a lot of these young men is getting because they're taking deals that they agree with y'all need to come up with another clause or some type of agreement addendum that says all parties agree to this yeah. binding yeah, you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying that way when a nigga go up the river and they like see the paperwork okay yeah but right here they check agreed i mean this cody's all agreed to this shit it's cool because mm. as it reads right now if you sign something that's that's identifying anybody other than yourself in the commission of the crime, they're going to call you a rat. Mm. And I said it. I spoke it. I said, I may catch some heat for this, but the streets need to change their outlook on how they see these type of situations because all three codees agreed to take it just like this. One got eight. Pushaisi got five. Other dude got four. But it's up under a proffer situation. But the proffer comes from all the information that the federal government had collected, right? But on the paperwork, it says it's other Cody's names. So when you see that, you're going to say, oh, you told. No, he didn't tell. They all was in agreement to take this case this way with the stipulation that is going to be mentioned on all their documents. Hey, uh, listen to that conversation told me a bunch of things. Um, number one, I, I thought you were, you were amazing, did an amazing job of doing, uh, being a moderator, someone I was leading the conversation. Number two, uh, it showed me the difference between street niggas, right? So, like, you interpreted it, like, I, I think y'all all have the same general sentiment, but you were able to remove emotion from it. I listened to Loose. Loose was not. Like, Loose was like, nah, that's snitching. Hell nah. Fuck all that. And then 600 was kind of more just old school, right? And 
it, it, it kind of just shows how the streets sees a lot of things historically. But I mean, yeah, yeah I don't think Pusha T didn't tell. You know what I mean? And no, nah, look, I didn't. No, nah, it's just the way it's written and the proffer and the other name. But all three of them agree to take this deal set up as is. And I ain't look. Act, I'm a wolf. I don't give a fuck. Everybody screaming one thing. If I don't think what you screaming is right, I'm not gonna scream. Straight up, just because everybody going left. The sign says if you go left, you are gonna fall off a cliff in a hundred yards. Where you going? Whack everybody going left. I read the sign. Yeah, just because you following the dummy, and a lot of these street rules have been established and laid down by dummies. And we've been following them for 50 years. At some point in time, we got to say, hold up, hold up, bro. What do you mean this dude is a snitch? This dude, this dude, these three dudes all agreed to the deal. Nobody else was involved. Nobody else was implemented. They all agreed. In their paperwork is all three of their names. And they have to sign this agreement. They all agreed to agree to this. Part of the telling. No, black man, you trying to change the game. No, I'm not trying to change the game. I'm trying to change it back to what it should have been. But you had an idiot over here who couldn't see. And now you got the, him, he's leading some up who can't see because they looking through his eyes. That's the blind leading the blind. Yeah. No. All through American history has been changed. At one point in time, we got categorized with the animals. One point in time, we couldn't vote. One point in time, we couldn't go in the same bathroom, restaurant, sit at the front of the bus. This whole world we come from is built in changes, and if the shit ain't right, it ain't right. And sometimes I'm not what I said, because it's right, that's cool. I'm all right with that. Yeah, no, no, 100%. 100%. But yeah, no, no, no I, I really hit you about the, the, the big me stuff. I'm, I'm glad you clarified the uh, pool charts and stuff. Yeah, but that's all it is. They'll never find no document that says Big Meech told. The only thing you're going to see is the young lady on there, the third party cooperating, and then you'll notice that she is the owner of the life rights of Big Meech, and you'll see that he's still doing business and in bed with her today. So, you know, we off on the streets. You know she took the stand. The paperwork is there. She got your life rights. You're still doing business with her. It right is that breaking that. the street rules though? It, it appears that like yeah, he, kinda, yeah, he got her to, you know what I mean? Like especially, especially my guy, right? Especially my guy. If it was supposed to benefit you in any type of way, any type of way, Cuffy, her, him, they all tied in, bro. Mm. Everybody's one. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So yeah, it's a little weird, a little different, but I'm gonna be real. I mean, in Big Meat, Big Meat's paper, Big Big Meat was a hustler. He wasn't never no gangster. Let's just keep it real, well, bro. Well, 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 I mean, if if you if you, he mean, was a hustler, bro. I know a lot. Of, hey, if uh, your Free people's... Ray Rick ain't no gangster. Free Ray Rick ain't no gangster. He tell you that. He had gangsters around him. Uh... Big, Big Meat, Big Meat, Big Meat ain't nothing. I ain't never heard him proclaim to be a gang. He's a hustler. So, you know, what does he fall up under? You oh, know? Oh, 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 by the way, this is a big win for the Tammy girl. She went from smashing the the, the underboss to now to now smashing the boss and, and taking over the sh because she helped the boss get out of jail, right? Well, that didn't go through because she she's a federal agent. So they snatched the whole situation what off the mean? table. Like, like she had sex she with saw the, agent, the, the, the agent that she was cooperating for. Yeah. She saw, and the law enforcement, the judge, and everybody, they found out. I guess that's a violation. You, can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So that's why that deal got pulled off the table. Because he had been home in like 2016, 2017. But nevertheless, she still won because at the end of the day, guess what? Tammy's in the middle of the BMF deal. 50 had to do the deal with her. She had the problem with the pool. And, and, and really quickly, because we hear about these mythical names and figures, 
so, so wait why doesn't why doesn't larry hoover get like a release date like that because every time i hear about him they say he can't talk on the phone larry hoover got like six he got like six life sentences wait why uh, you know I is this murders? Well, he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't have money. Went to jail. You know, they tried to say allegedly that he, you know, was getting rid of money. Was in there. So he, he when he went, he didn't have the life sentences when he went. He caught him while he was in there. Really? Conspiracies and shit like that. Yeah. So you know, uh, you know, Kanye didn't did a lot for that when he was doing all that shit with uh, Trump. It was they tried to get Larry back in there for an appeal. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, but Larry got six life sentences. Man, the man been in there about 50, 51 years, man. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully they give him, they give him a shot, man, to come on. The man got to be in the 70s. He been in Colorado in a penitentiary underground for God knows how long. They bring him everything. They bring him a shower. They bring him his food. They, you know what I'm saying? He can't come out. He read his mail from cream. So, you know, I don't think he can do anybody any harm. But then again, who am I to say that? Because the victims of the so-called families out there, they going to say they've been harmed. You know what I'm saying? But he's been gone like 50, 51 years. That's crazy shit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but you know, drug dealing and bodies is two different things, Axe. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. I get so, it. So, you know, hopefully they let the old man go, man. You know, uh, you know, I would like to see him come home. Everybody would. I don't think he's gonna do anybody any harm. You know, let the man breathe some fresh air, man. And one last time, that man is locked. He's been locked down. Probably about thirty of that. Just slammed down all the way. So, you know, he's a very headstrong individual, bro, dealing with that shit. Hmm. All right, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. All right, all right. Now, I appreciate, I appreciate you filling me in because I, I was confused about this. But if, if, if that's all true, getting somebody else to get on the stand, that's smart, though. But I, I guess you're right. I guess it's yeah, they don't have to do it. nothing with that. Y'all just be in the shirt on my. They not finna do nothing now uh, with him. They don't. Nobody gets the cold outside, but yeah, hey, don't nobody get hey, nobody get on my shoes and keep moving. Nobody cares. It's over with. Streets is a myth. Shout out Troy Ann. Yeah. All that shit is over with. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's just conversation. That all it is now is content. That's it. I agree. Nobody's here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. I'm here. I'm here. If you you need me, my brother. All right, man. Definitely appreciate you, brother. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. TV. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. TV. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. TV. So y'all heard the content, man. I think this is the first time that WAC 100 and DJ Academics went live since Meech got out, you know, and discussed everything as far as the third party cooperant, um, the Blue Da Vinci safety valve, you know, and the, uh, the proffer agreement, agreements that were signed. So y'all got the content firsthand, man. And really, man, I still think uh, Big Meech is a rat, man. I definitely think he's out five and a half months too early. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm still waiting to see the paperwork because I'm not going on off of hearsay and this and that. I got to see it in black and white. And once I see it in black and white, I'll make my final determination of the situation at hand as far as Big Meech. Did he tell, did he uh, do a third party cooperant with uh, with old girl Tammy Cowens? And uh, also 
but we do know that Blue Da Vinci told, we do know that he had a safety valve and we do know that he provided the U.S. government information because that's one thing that you have to do in order to get a safety valve, one out of five. And you heard what the other four were. So definitely Blue Da Vinci's a rat, big Meech, third party cooperating, but I still think there's some other stuff that's going to come out in the future. So let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, yeah, man. Y'all got the content firsthand, academics and WAC 100. Let me know what you guys think about this content in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're always up to date when I drop fresh new content. Subscribe to the media team so you uh, always get that exclusive WAC 100 content that only the media team can provide. Any uh, information or comments, just hit me in the DMs. I do appreciate it. And as always, I certainly appreciate y'all checking out Clubhouse TV, and I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out, y'all. Peace.